Hi Zoe, it's Mrs. Olson. I thought I would make a video to help with the Cornell notes a little bit. Um, so let me tell you what I've got open. I have opened the Cornell notes from the Haitian Revolution, which in Apex is 9.4.2. And then in another tab, I've actually got the um, Apex section open. And this is actually where I'm going to start after I talk about the first couple of cells here. So just kind of a read cap with uh, Cornell notes. In the left side, you want this to only be your main ideas. And in the right side, if you can on the template that I provided for you, you can make this actually a little bit bigger because this is where this column, the right column, is where you're going to have the bulk of your information. So, um, another thing with the left column, um, you only want questions and main ideas. So questions, of course, can be written with complete sentences. And main ideas, I always say that you only want a word or a phrase for the main idea. So you, for main ideas, you don't want to write complete sentences, okay? So for example, what I mean by that is um, you would take out this sentence here and only write Hispaniola. Um, so Hispaniola was the colony that was established by France on Haiti in 1697. So you would keep Hispaniola there and probably take out, um, let's see, I would probably actually just write this a little bit differently because you want to have it in note format. So let me see if I can move this over. Ugh. One sec here. Okay, so it isn't super important that the island was split into two, but it's okay that you keep it in there. But what I did was to write French colony established 1697. So in the note column, the right column, you only want it to be in note format. You don't really want to write complete sentences because we want to train our brains with Cornell notes to organize this information into just main ideas and then the most essential information as far as historical details go. Okay, so let's do another example. Um, with this set of cells, you can keep this as it is, but I would take out Atlantic slave trade because this again is a big idea for the Haitian Revolution. So I would take this part out and then because you already have written Saint Domingue, um, you would only keep this piece of information and it's okay again to write it in note format. So I just wrote produce sugar, coffee, cotton, cacao, and indigo, um, which is what you have right here. Okay. Now there's a part in here that I think, um, yeah, I think you actually skipped it. And that is this page that I have pulled up. So it says, how did the slave trade affect the social structure of Haiti? So I'm gonna tell you that you can steal a little bit from Apex. And I mean that in a nice way and not a negative way. You can take this question right here as a main idea type of question um, that you can use in the left column. So you could take this once again and put it in the left column as your main idea. And then you can go through and take really these are statistics. So you can use it from here or you can pull the statistics from the written text. This part is important for understanding how um, the French really divided up this uh, colony, this society that they had controlled in Haiti. Okay, so once again, um, this is where you would be sticking that information. So you could again write, how did, how did the slave trade affect the social structure of Haiti? Right in here. And then the information on um, how they broke up society would be in the right column. So one of the screenshots that I had given you um, did it like this. It says population statistics and so it gave pieces. It didn't do the whole thing but that's okay. 
And then this other example, different person, actually did all of the statistics. And I actually like this one better because it gives you a full idea of what they did, of what the French did. Okay, so the next page of Apex. Um, okay, so this is kind of... No, I guess it's not review. This one is telling you what was it like for the different classes. Um, you can include that information, but I'm going to go to the next page. Okay, and so this is still talking, oh, no, this one is talking about the effect of American and French revolutions in Haiti, which... I, yeah, you don't have that right here. So that would be the next part um, to include in your notes. So it is talking about the Declaration of Rights and of Man um, and of the Citizen. And so you would take the ideas from this and write it in here. So you could say um, American and French revolutions as your main idea and the left column and include the document Declaration of Rights of Man and of the Citizen in the left column or so, sorry so the declar so the American and French revolutions in the left column and then the name of the document the declaration of the rights of man and of the citizen in the right column okay so then you would go to the next page and this is talking about the enlightenment and so once again I would put just the word enlightenment in the left column and then information about important people that influenced people that organized the French Revolution, or excuse me, the um, Haitian Revolution uh, from the French Revolution. So you would put enlightened thinkers like John Locke and Rousseau in the right column next to the Enlightenment. And so that's how you would keep going through each of the pages. You want to, let's go to the next important part, you want to include information from pretty much every single page of the 19 pages in 9.4.2. Um, so let's look at these. So here this person um, actually wrote a question how might that document influence them and then used information about that and then this person um, also did questions and who started the French and American, what started the revolutions and then answered the questions kind of right here. So um, I can keep going, but now I've, I see that I've gone for eight minutes. Anyways, so it is tedious. You do go through every page and record the information off of every page in Apex, unless it's like a review page like this. This is just helping you to review what went on previously. So this information you don't have to record because you would have already done it. So... Um, I hope that helps you to dissect the information from Apex and then where to place it on the Cornell Notes um, sheet. So let me know if you have questions and if this wasn't helpful at all, please let me know. Um, and if you want to take the Apex quiz scores instead, let me know that too. That'll be all right. Um, okay, Zoe, let me know. Hope you have a good day. Bye.